I am to some degree perplexed because I only know what I've heard from Minister Castro and what I've seen in a letter that he shared with me from the U.S. Embassy, meaning that there is no indication of any reason for the revocation of the visas, except that the minister declined to come in when invited to do so to discuss the whole issue of renewal of the visas since those visas were about to expire. As the minister has said, and that's clear from the letter that, uh, or, or what he said is confirmed by the letter, he refused to go in because he's saying he's not interested. In other words, had the visas not been revoked, had they been allowed to expire in the next couple of months, he would not have sought any renewal. In that context, while speculation will no doubt run riot, there is nothing at all to go on that can sustain any allegation, any contention that the revocation was for impropriety. Certainly, the U.S. authorities have never ever approached me with any kind of complaint or expression of concern about the minister. I know that, for example, there are police officers who've had their visas lifted, and I understand secondhand that they are always told why it is that their visas are being pulled. In these particular circumstances where all there is is the fact of the minister not being interested in a renewal and not being prepared to go in to discuss the issue of the visas, I am afraid all I can do is to say that it is then a personal matter for the minister.